Well, hello there, Shimplex. Welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. This is Summer Shrimp Tank Setup Week 10, I do believe, right? So, in this week's video, it's going to be a little bit short because I didn't have uh, my audio and stuff set up correctly in the last video, and I've been waiting for things to come so I can give you a better experience. So, hopefully, you're hearing me properly today. All right, so what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to do a shrimp feeding like always, and what I want to do over here, guys, is I want to actually start to um, remove some of the shrimp in this tank that we, where we have our shadow black pintos, shadow black pintos, shadow spotted pintos, I think we're going to call them. I think that is the proper name for them because, yeah, we have bred these from scratch and I would like to breed them out further so then I have my own line because that's how it works. You add shrimp together, you make a new type of shrimp and then you can call it your own, right? So I've actually had the shrimp for a very long time. You're going to see them today. The other thing, guys, I'd like to do is also thank my uh, members because you guys helped me make all of this possible. You helped me buy the equipment that makes it possible for us to have decent camera stuff and experiences and interactions and all that kind of good stuff. Right? So thank you very much. You also helped pay for my coffee. So that's pretty important. Hmm. I was going to actually do this part first over here with the... Uh, selective breeding, but I think guys will probably jump over to the shrimp feeding first because Yeah, I've just had a little look around me. I don't know if you can see from that angle, but the Shrimp are going absolutely freaking berserk today for food And uh, I think it's probably better that I show you now than wait a good half an hour and then show you because then they'll go off the boil kind of thing All right, so let's get you up there and we'll do the usual. We'll try and get around a little bit quicker and uh, yeah Let's do that. All right, Shrimplets, you will hear some noise in the background. The wash machine on, is on, but it's nowhere near the spinning function, right? So you shouldn't hear like a loud whirling noise. You'll just hear like the ball thing moving inside as it washes the washing, right? So today's food was Shirakura Ibidama. Let me show you the packet. And I'm also going to thank a guy that gave me a tip for actually uh, keeping these because you guys all know, right? I, I don't really like Mylar bags that much and it was one of my subscribers just said to me, Mark, well, why don't you put it in a tub? And I thought, why don't I just do that then, right? Because I have loads of food that is years out of date. And I thought, why don't you swap it the food? So that's what I did, right? I'll show you what, what I did over here. So this was, I think it was um, the white pellets, the calcium white pellets from Glasgow. And I had them for years, guys. And they went out of date in 2022 on the bottom, you can see it here. Right, so I've just filled this up. Because these tubs are great because they have this, like, it's also like a moisture lid. Like this, and it has a little silicon pellet bag thing in there. It keeps all the food nice, lovely and fresh. And yeah, I just prefer it this way, where you have a little tub like this. So thank you, John, if you're watching. Thank you for reminding me of something that was pretty simple that works really well, right? So, yes, yeah, so let's get over here and we'll look at the shrimp. Because, yeah, the shrimp are, guys, I'm not kidding. They are going ballistic. They're going absolutely crazy today. Right, I was actually wondering if maybe I'm feeding them too much, but <laughs> I'm definitely not. Let's, uh, let's get this camera set up here and we'll have a look. And the good news as well, guys, is I think there's almost babies in every single tank now. Maybe apart, I have one tank that I don't have shrimp in, baby shrimp in yet, but for the most part, we have shrimp in every single tank. So let's start away over here. You want to follow me today? You are? You know, I had a friend that asked me, um, do I have a cameraman now because my quality of my photography and my video editing is insane looking. I'm like, I do, I have a cameraman. Right, so I'm going to try and do this in one mode only for the entire video. Oh god, these guys are so gorgeous. Let me see. I'm going to try this guys in one mode for the entire video just to try and get a little bit of continuity going. Let's see. Aren't these awesome? Black fancy tigers. And these guys are having batch after batch after batch of babies. I can actually see the babies just climbing the wall and everything, like, like they're zooming around. Let's go over here and have a little look, see what we can find. See, see the little babies? There's like little ones that you can see. Newborns. 
So yeah, what we're doing now is working really, really well. I'm so glad that we changed it to this way of doing it. So, so, so glad. All right, so the tank over here, that you can see, still has nothing in it. But I think this one is probably ready for some starter shrimp, so we might do that in the next video. And uh, guys, I think the glass is definitely blue on this one. I think it's definitely blue. This one has some tester shrimp in it. What I've done, guys, is on the recommendations of a friend was I've removed some of the blue steel from some of the Galaxy uh, Pintos that we have in here, Galaxy Boas. In this tank here, I've removed some of the blue steel because we don't want them breeding back with the Galaxy Pintos and Galaxy Boas because um, they'll just breed out more blue steels. Right, so the way you do it is you remove all your blue steels. And I'll have to do that with the tank over here for the red red bow as well when eventually because they'll have red steels which is kind of exciting i don't think i've ever had red steels but they'll go in here so we have some shrimp in this tank i don't think any of them are near the front there's a good four four or five of them in this tank and there's quite a few of them buried as well so yeah let's get on to these guys and this is just a mixed bee shrimp tank we have goldens Crystal reds, crystal blacks, and I think that's it. I sometimes get, just get odd shrimp in here, but again, there's like shrimp all over this tank, all in the filters. You can see that far back, all in the filters and stuff all the time. You know, I think I forgot to put food in this next tank here, on this side. These um. Crystal reds, I think I forgot to put food in there. I'll do that, I'll do that later. You don't need to see this. Let's have a look at this, because I can see I can see that these boa are looking gorgeous. Oh, I can see more babies. This one's buried as well, that's definitely buried. Let's see over here, I think I can see a freshly born baby on the leaf. That's just probably just out of focal range. That's a new one, that's um, much, much smaller than the ones I've been seeing. So let's go along. This soil is Eddy Amazonia. Let me think, what was the other, because this, this has two soils in it. I think it was Tropica plant soil. Because I just want to test guys and see if we can make anything else work. Right? So yeah, these guys had some babies a little while ago. You could probably just see that there's one there. So this tank is starting off really, really well. Aren't they gorgeous? All right, I'm not going to show you this bottom tank here because they've taken the food literally to the back because they know I'm filming everything. Oh God, look at these guys. Wow. All I can see is wow. These guys have just produced shrimplet after shrimplet after shrimplet. I love it. Have a look at them all. Aren't they gorgeous? I'm going to keep the camera rolling here because we're going to jump over to the next tank. These are Raymond's own line. I'm going to call them Raymond's line from now on. Maybe the Norman Black line. It's a personal joke between me and Ramon. And uh, yeah, you can see that they've had babies in here because that's definitely one of their young there. I did notice that they'd had young, but there were not so many visible yet. But yeah, these guys are really nice as well. Let me zoom in. Yeah, I think I prefer the scenic mode over everything as well. I can't tell if that one there in the middle is buried, but yeah, that is the first baby in here. Remember what we were talking about before, how these have blue steel young? Well, this is, the, this is one of them. This is an example of the ones that they have. Not billions of babies, but yeah, this tank is very new. All right, let's go over to... No, where do they go and get back here? So I'm going to actually grab the food in this tank because this, th these ones are really, really nice. And I want you to see them because they've had tons of babies, guys. Tons and tons of babies, like... You would not believe how many, how much young they've had in here. 
it's getting on like it looks visually like into the high I don't know 60s 70s 80s so we'll come back to that tank in a minute once these shrimp come to it come to the food oh these ones are nice as well I'm so glad I did this tank with these goldens yeah I think I prefer the scenic mode with this uh, lens on because you guys can actually see the young and the adults and stuff all at once let's see I'm trying to see if there's more because it's odd to me that you know that sometimes you get billions of shrimp billions of shrimp like there's a fair amount in here for the tank not being that, that's my, my uh, sweat from my hand no that's from the last tank with the putting the put my hand in the water to move that food aren't they gorgeous zoom in a little bit yeah this is definitely my preferred mode I think I'm so so glad I, I made a tank for these guys what was I thinking not having these in the shrimp room before I think years ago when I first started I had these shrimp and I let the, the tank die out I won't make that mistake again with this, with this mode I'm actually able to zoom in quite nicely Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? Let's go on to the little buggers here. Crystal reds. Same thing again there. Yeah, they're just having babies galore in here. Babies galore. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. And th these guys are like everywhere in this tank as well. Let's get a little zoom shot in. Yeah, I can zoom in quite far as with this. As long as I move the camera a little bit manually backwards and forwards, it seems to be able to actually fix itself. All right, so I've obviously forgot to put food in this tank because there's nothing at all at the front. Uh, I want you guys to see if there's a difference between our blue bolts from last week to this week. I can see quite a few more babies in here. I don't know if they'll be able to be picked up on camera, but there's quite a few more than there was. There's quite a few more than there was. Like up there, I think I can see some underneath this dish. Here, there's a couple. There's one over here coming to the front. Yeah, so they, these are starting to survive nicely. And this is just what we see at the front of the tank, guys, as well. All right, let's see. I actually can see a newborn in this tank. So this is a first for me with our fancy crystal reds. And of course, they're just at a focal range. But here, guys, this is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm interested in there. See it? It's a baby, it's the first baby in this tank. Again, this soil is Tropica plant soil. So if there's one, there's going to be more for sure that we can't see. All right, we did the blue bolts here. Let's get on to these guys. Yeah, these guys are just having a lot of babies all over the place as well. So this is the cull tank and they have also started to breed like the clappers because I'm starting to see young everywhere in here as well just all over the place under the dishes on the leaves you guys can see them and so everything's hunky-dory in the shrimp room all right let's get over to oh you know, I actually forgot, people say I always neg neglect this side of the room, and I do a little bit. I actually haven't put any food in these ones, I don't know, I have in this one. So these were, these were meant to be my rallies, but you can see I've totally let them go. Oh, you can still kind of tell that they're rallies. This is a very small tank, this tank is only like 8 litres or something. Now, there's not so many young in here either, so yeah, I need to... Ideally, guys, I should actually just change this tank because it's so small. 
Let's go and have a little look at our cherry shrimp here. Because there's a fair amount in here as well. See a lot of saddles. A wee bristle nose in there. A couple of buried girls. I am noticing with this tank though that the moss is starting to fade. So that's maybe something that we'll have to look at. Let's see, can we zoom in into this bit? Well, that's where the food is, that's why they're all over there, you see. Yeah, so that is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, the, the moss in this tank, the moss in this tank is definitely starting to fade a bit, and I don't mean to actually like change colour. And I can actually see the plate and the filter through here before, and this was really, really packed full of moss. I, I think it's actually shrunk in size as well, like it was away over here, and it's shrunk down like this. So. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure I want to change anything in this tank because yeah, I'm happy that I'm actually able to see the shrimp. But um, I think the last few times that we did water change in this, in this tank, I think I used my tap water. And the tap water here in Norway is very, very clean. And um, it's maybe too clean because yeah, obviously there's not enough nutrients in it to support the moss. Alright guys, we're going to go down here, I'm going to pop you down here and we're going to start this tank. Because, uh, yeah, they're starting to take the food away at the bark, and that's not what we want. We actually want to be able to see them so we can actually do our things. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, we are in position. Right, so up here I have a jug that's got water in it. We're going to look at these shrimp. I'm actually going to move the food back to the front so that we can actually get to the shrimp better. What I did also notice in here, there's an awful lot of shrimp at the very top and all the moss, which um, quite shocked me because why are they not all at the food? Um, anyway, let's um, move the dish out the way and uh, yeah, we'll do that now. I'm going to turn the camera around. Whoop, whoop. I'll have to turn you down a little bit. Let me move you backwards. There's a little bit of glare. We plan to be here somewhere. Like this. Hopefully this is good. Um, yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of glare. Let me grab a shrimp net and maybe a set of tweezers. Now my good shrimp net is upstairs that I got from my friend Shrimp Mania, which I should go and get, but it will try and do it like this. I'm going to try and grab the food to get them to come to the front. Like this. Ah, oh, let go, you buggers. You see? So we want this here somewhere so that we can take out the ones that we don't want to be in there, right? So again, nothing is like undesirable in this tank. I just want to actually try and breed these a little bit truer into the, the shrimp that I want them to be, right? So for example, let's say I point at stuff and give you an idea of what we want to keep in this tank. So we want to keep stuff that is more like these ones here, you see them? They have the blue body, kind of like a black cape with the with the little spots in the head. You see them? Like this one there as well. And everything else is red, has all these pinto stripes, it's black. Or goldens will be going into the cull tank, right? And we, we call it into cull tank, but it's not really a cull tank. You guys know that already. Let's move this out of the way a bit. Alright, so let's do that now because this might take a little while. And I don't want to bore the pants off you guys for so long. Okay, so let's start with anything that is red. Give my net a wee shake and we'll grab this first one here. This is a beautiful, it's almost like a German spotted pinto this one, you see it? But it's a hybrid because I crossbred it with something else before. And it looks slightly different. So anything that is not what we want shall become the red. So here is a... Uh, just like a black German spotted pinto. This one. Where it has just the black head and little spots in the head. Now the spots are definitely not like your normal spotted head pintos because yeah mine's I've actually crossed mines to try and get these spots huge. Because remember guys we were trying to cross uh, shrimp to get boa. And I think I was going down the wrong way, so yeah, we're going to 
call that as what it is. So there's a lovely blue steel with a lovely black pinto of some type. And that's one of the things I love about shrimp keeping is all these different shrimp that you get from all these different crosses because yeah, you're basically getting crosses from stuff that people have crossed to make shrimp before. So these two can go here. So I think so. it's not a very girl, but she's very big, very big blue ball. And it leads me to onto a good um, leads me onto a good explanation of something here, right? And that is this, right? We can't put these blue bolts in this tank with our other blue bolts because they are not um, pure blue bolts. So anything that we put into the, our blue bolt tank that isn't a pure blue bolt they can breed into something else right? and that's not what I want. I want my blue bolts to stay as blue bolts. I swear the blue bolts that come out of this or of their steels can have uh, Thai B genetics in them. Does that make sense? There's quite a lot of these ones that are like black. Pinto, did you see them? Two at once, two for the price of one. for the price of one and once we've done this guys these shrimp will go straight into the tank because uh, the water parameters are the same even down to the pH it's almost exactly the same it's almost like 5.5 .5, something like that big uh, red one here oh. now when I scared them all there I just was made aware of how many baby shrimp are here still I didn't notice that in my last video that I did, I'm saying I can't see baby shrimp in there, that when there was literally baby shrimp on the screen, I couldn't see them. Here is another God, see when they do that and they go all over the place, it does my nothing. That's a, a black pinto. Let's see, now we're getting down to the ones that we want to see in here. So I'm going to take this one here. This is a bigger blue bolt female, I think. I'm going to try and take out this, this one here. Because it only has one spot on the side of its head. And that's not what our gold shrimp looks like. We've got to have goals. Now you can do this, or you can't, don't, you don't have to do this. But I like to try and keep my shrimp looking kind of the same. And this tank has never been done like this. I think we've called in this tank maybe like three or four times. Another another blue bolt steel. I'm calling them blue bolt steels, guys, because um, I think I made these with blue bolts. So in a nutshell, you're basically taking these guys out before they get to breeding age. And a lot of the ones that you saw there were already breeding age. So this one here. So we are down to the little the ones like this. These these ones could turn into our lovely shrimps. I think we've got most of them already, which is a good sign. I just want to take out the obvious ones. Goldens, whatever else in here. And then like the ones that are like under the net here. We'll see if they darken up because a lot of these have the shadow genetics in them and it makes them go bluer. That's why I introduced blue bolts into this tank to get this effect in them. Because I think it looks lovely. So here is one of the shrimp that's quite interesting. Right? This is a big girl on this side. I'm going to see if I can capture her for you. If I'm gentle with her, she might just walk into the net. This one here. So this is probably about as close as I got to making... A blue bolt here and you can see just how much of a lack of spots we're on this route so this is nothing like the shrimp that we want to keep in here it doesn't have any big spots in its head it almost is a fish bone so this one can come out it's a shame because it is a gorgeous shrimp i'm saying it's a shame it's not a shame because we don't kill them remember we don't kill our shrimp at all but i, I don't want it to seem like um that is an undesirable shrimp. It's just not what we want in this tank. Now the blue bolt baby here is big enough to go and you see it's about a centimetre. 
And that is what you ideally want to do, guys, is start to take out stuff that is over a centimeter because this is when they start to become breeding size. Now, I think I did have a very nice um, zebra pinto in here. Sometimes you get oddballs coming out, of, coming out of groups like this. And it was a zebra pinto, a red zebra pinto. And I think that's how they make uh, German spotted, red German spotted pintos is with zebra pintos. And uh, we had a throwback to that in here, but I can't see it now. It would have been nice to get out because it was it's at that size where we should be changing stuff. Let me see. There's not much else, is there? Let's see, can I zoom in here a wee bit? It would be nice if I was actually filming the shrimp, wouldn't it, guys? Let me just move the camera a wee bit. Not a nice picture. If you can get past all the glare, that's quite a nice picture. I think we might be done here. But this is the goal. You see what I mean with what I'm trying to get in this tank? How these shrimp look? Big spots in the head. Blue bodies. Minimal dark bits on the on the actual bodies themselves. And uh, yeah, I think we're done here. Let's uh, put let's put the shrimp in to the cold tank. All right, guys. Let me just quickly grab the shrimp. I'll show you them as well before we. Put them into the tank. Have a little look. Can you even see? You can see there's a fair amount in there. There's like, uh, let me have a quick look. There's a good 10, 15 shrimp in here. So let's get these in. Let me get them in so you can see them. And guys, I think this will be the perfect time for us to see I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have, then please do like and subscribe. If you want to see more shrimp content like this because I breed tons and tons and tons of shrimp. And uh, yeah, YouTube will show you a video that you should watch next over this side of trying to over here. But guys, have an awesome weekend and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.